Hey everybody, El Duderino here, and you are watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. This is a special episode. The reason why it's a special episode is because I have discovered that I love cooking on live. The Dude's Kitchen and Grill, you can find it on Instagram, of course, Facebook, YouTube, and it is the only show on the web that is brought to you by The White Russian. You know, corn, corn on the cob. We got corn on the cob here. Many different ways to make it. This idea was, is, was born out of boredom, right? So you can get corn on the cob anywhere in the United States, right? The fair, your neighbor's house, uh, restaurants, hell, at your own house, right? But we always seem to, just like grandpa did, is do butter and salt. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I was raised on, right? But I was just sitting around the other day thinking, that's boring, right? So I talked to my buddy, Steve, who happens to own Uncle Steve's Shake. He's not a sponsor, he's just a friend, and I really believe in his product. And Steve and I were talking about two of his shakes, right? The first one being the sweet and the spicier, and my favorite one is brand new, South Texas Red, right? Now we talked about Uncle Steve a little bit yesterday. So I got to ask him, Uncle Steve, what do you think would go well with corn? Which one of those two? And you know, he came back to me and said, you know, actually either one of them would be great. And I thought, you know, he's probably right, but I think I'm going to go with the red. And I don't know why I decided to go with the red, but I did, and I'll tell you what, I was not disappointed. I have half a stick of butter here in this cast iron pan. I'm going to put, I don't know, three, four, five tablespoons, Uncle Steve's red, Texas red in there. And I'm gonna put it in just like this because I want the heat to kind of activate that red, right? That, that shake. I want it to just start out first by heating up, opening up, and then adding the butter to it. So we're just gonna put it right there. I had here something, that's okay, we'll live. So to go along with this, I am actually going to do some steak. Now for this steak, I am going to use Uncle Steve's, ah, there it is, competition cow shake. Uncle Steve's got a whole line of product. And like I said, he's not a sponsor, but I, he's a good friend and I really believe in his line. And he's just a great guy overall. And I'll leave a link down below, you know, the little at sign and at Uncle Steve shake. That way people can take a look at it, at his product and determine, you know, hey, do I want to get it or not? But what I love about his shakes is they all complement each other. So like our, I'm just gonna put some cow shake on top. He's got all sorts of other brands too, but such a nice guy. I'm gonna kind of stir things around, start getting this stuff all melted in together. And I suspect these two are gonna finish up at about the same time. You know, once again, it's really hot out here. It's 100 degrees out, and it's standing next to the Weber kettle. Well, you get the idea. It cranks it up another 15 degrees for me at least. Just let that butter melt in there. You're doing a great job. Now our corn, of course, I, I soaked our corn in water for about an hour before I did this cook. And I'll be honest with you, I just took it out and put it onto the Weber kettle. Still a little on the warm side, but man, it looks great. It's very tender. Of course, you got that silk crap that's on there. Hate that stuff. That's the beauty of going live, right? You always, there's always something that gets screwed up. But that piece of corn right there, very tender. Now, as you know, we would just kind of dip it in 
over the butter, put some salt over it and eat away, but really think you're gonna like this. Now the only reason why I threw the steaks on here is because Mrs. Dude wanted dinner, excuse me, one more time, and I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. I get a lot of people asking me, hey, are you a chef? No, I'm not. I'm just some dude who sits in his backyard, has a YouTube channel, an Instagram following, on Facebook, and I drink white Russians, and I cook. If you want to follow a chef, then I'm gonna recommend on YouTube my buddy Chef Rich at Cooking with Chef Rich. He's a great guy. We've talked about him before on my vlog that comes out on Wednesdays and Fridays on YouTube. And he's just, he's a great guy, works with uh, handicapped citizens, all sorts of people across the board. It's awesome. I gotta tell you, that white Russian, it, white Russian is good. Hope you guys are enjoying this, by the way. Our butter is melting. And I really was hoping that maybe our steak would be done in time, but you know, the episode really isn't about the steak. It was more, it was about just being bored when it comes to eating corn, all right? It is very boring, I think, that you just put salt and pepper on it. Experiment a little bit, right? That's what, that's what this is all about. Experiment. And it's hot. Whew. I was on YouTube earlier today. I don't know if anybody's into Top Gun. I was on YouTube earlier today, and there's an eight-minute reel on Top Gun, the new one. Well, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. And it was actually really cool. Looking forward to that show coming out. All right. So our steak can't be anywhere near done cooking. But I know that a corn is. And it's actually cooled off enough I can actually hold it and not have to go hot, hot, hot. So I'm gonna put some of our butter and Uncle Steve's on here. now. You have to use Uncle Steve's? Absolutely not. I'd be willing to bet if you took any other shake or rub, put it in there, experiment with this rub and that rub and 10 other different rubs, you're gonna find the right combination. But for me, one of the reasons why I like Uncle Steve's is because it's just easy for me to figure it out. So, of course our butter combination is super hot, so I'm gonna let it rest for just a moment. I have a thermometer here. We'll check our steaks. Mrs. Dude gave me this. It's one of her Pampered Chef thermometers. Actually, this is a great thermometer because it also works as uh, a probe for if I were, you know, doing a uh, meatloaf or whatever. Let's check it out. Oh, and it's saying 103 right now. Ah, this is showing 113 on that one. Yeah, about the same. Well, a little less there, which is surprising. Wow, real less there. Show 99. And 98. So now we're not even close. But our corn's done, so let's give it a shot. Mm. You know, you get that butter with it that you always get. You get a little bit of salt, just like you would with grandpa, but you also get a bite to it. And that's what I love about this. You get all these different spices in it. And it just takes the corn to a whole different level. Mmm. That's so good. So, so good. Anyhow, I wish our steaks were done. I'll do a, an episode on steaks here shortly. Remember to check out my buddy, Uncle Steve Shakes. 
They're online, just at UncleSteveShakes.com. I'll also do a link to his handle so you can check it out. He's on Facebook, Instagram. He is on YouTube, all that. Just a down, down-to-earth kind of guy. So, anyhow, that's it. Ooh, getting some flare up. Look at that. Yeah, that'll cook it. If you guys order from Uncle Steve's, I can guarantee that I will get zero from you ordering from Uncle Steve. But if you do, tell him El Dudorino or the dude sent you, and he'll know. I'm doing a contest here very shortly where I'm ha I'll have, uh, when I have 1,500 subscribers on YouTube, and you're gonna see my ugly mug on this here bottle. And one of you lucky folks on Instagram and one of you lucky, lucky folks on YouTube are gonna win it. So, all right guys, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, as lately I've been saying, here's to letting life come to us once in a while. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Goodbye.